thanks for joining me today on Yummy Texture TV. My name is Titi Laya Delaya and today I'll be showing you how to make, how to preserve and how to store brown sugar. Now this comes to you because I have this. Now this is brown sugar that I got a few months ago and I'm going to show you. You're supposed to be able to store this in a Ziploc bag but see it is so like hard and I bet you have something like this at home um, if you don't bake a lot meaning if you just use it at Thanksgiving or something it just hardens and it becomes a brick block of something and you know there are ways to turn it around and you know soften it up again it's supposed to be soft you know you can use it to bake you can use it you know for a lot of things but there you have it I just have to show this to you now to soften this I think I should start from there you could just put this in a glass bowl, the uh, bakeware, and put it in the, in the oven. Or there's a way to also do it in the microwave. But you can put it in the oven and it just melts the molasses in this. And you can use it immediately so that it doesn't harden up again. So, that's about that. No more. I'll put it in the sink because I think I'm going to trash it. Because guess what? I figured out how to make brown sugar. Now, I know a lot of people feel like brown sugar is healthier for you. I'm not trying to change your misconceptions or, you know, confuse you. But brown sugar is really white sugar plus molasses. That's all it is. This two together is what brown sugar is. So, it might have a little bit more calorie because then you add molasses to it. Now, molasses is what's healthy about brown sugar because it really is just sugar but the molasses is from sugar cane but that's all molasses is so it has iron mm, i think it has um some i don't know if it's copper but it has a lot of benefits um a lot of nutrients a lot of vitamins a lot of minerals in it so that's why the misconception of brown sugar is good comes up now brown sugar is amazing for baking it is awesome for a whole bunch of things but we bake like if you want to bake the chewiest chocolate chip cookies you want to use brown sugar so that's about it for the sugar and the molasses so let's get started and the reason why I want to show you this recipe is if you're like me you only need it once in a while just get the jar of like this grandma's molasses I like this brand a lot and whenever you need it the recipe is pretty simple it's one cup of sugar to one teaspoon and I've sprayed some canola oil on this um, teaspoon um, but you need one cup of sugar to one teaspoon of molasses and that's it that's all brown sugar is you mix it together I'm gonna walk you through I didn't I mean this this particular ingredient is kind of weird right I'm gonna show you how to use it this is just marshmallows I don't have the smaller one but I have this huge size um, I used it for a birthday recently so I'm gonna show you how to use that um, so basically I have my two cups of sugar and so I've, I've um, sprayed this with oil so that it just doesn't stick to the molasses it comes out clean so I'll go in and it's one tablespoon of molasses to every cup of whew, look at that drizzle isn't that beautiful a drizzle of molasses if you make pecan pie which my friend Amy makes for me every single thanksgiving and so when amy does her pecan pie like the the pecan uh, arranged like so perfectly you wouldn't believe it she's awesome i should take a picture sometime and post it on my page so you can see but that's it so two tablespoons of molasses and you could use your hand with gloves you could use a whisk i'm gonna use my electric mixer now i don't want it flying around so let's see gonna mix it around a little bit and then just walk it through it's not the fastest thing so if you have um too fast if you have a stand mixer uh, I have a stand mixer but I don't want to show you with the stand mixer because not everybody has a stand mixer and you don't need a stand mixer to do this unless you have a huge batch if you have to make like eight cups or 20 cups you might want to use an electric mixer uh, stand mixer. I might have to just put my gloves on and work this out and then I will show it to you when it's done because it might take a few minutes but I promise you you would have brown sugar and the smell of the brown sugar which is the amazing richness of it so I'll join you in like two minutes just wear gloves and mush this up and I'll show you so I have my gloves on now and all I'm doing 
is I'm sure you can see this it's just walking it through see the molasses is mixing up with the sugar so I'm just pressing it in and that's how easy it is now if I could grab my old brown sugar and my new brown sugar it's light brown it's almost golden it is amazing I love the color this is darker so like I said if you want to make it darker you might want to get a darker um, a darker molasses or just add more molasses to it it's gonna make it darker you know so but I like it just like this I think it's fine for what I need it for it's nice and golden brown it's light brown sugar now this is gonna be funny but I know I know I taste everything but I'm not tasting brown sugar for you I love you all but mm -mm, not gonna taste brown sugar I mean it's sugar I'm not tasting that right, so once again this is white sugar and this is my brown sugar this is you know you can't form this it just breaks down but you can mold that and any more molasses will make it even darker so there we have it so the next I'm gonna show you now is how to store it now I got this container it's a shatterproof container with this thingy I'm not sure what it's called but um, from Walmart I seem to buy everything from Walmart because it's closer to me and it's a super Walmart so they sell food and every other thing uh, but I got to get this from Walmart for about six dollars because it's shatterproof I guess that's why it's expensive because the glass version is cheaper so all you do is you store it in the airtight container so that way this could save for years I think you just plop it in there it's not so easy just plop it in there and like you would when you're making a recipe just plop it in there real nice and tight and there you go and that's my brown sugar it's nice and golden brown and the good thing is it, it smells so rich you know and I know what's in it I made it myself all by myself so I've made a mess of course with the brown sugar but I'm gonna show you how to store it so if you have brown sugar from the store or you make it you store it in an airtight container number one and number two you put marshmallows in it now I know some recipes put bread in it um, I'm not sure how that works the bread goes dry and stale but you should definitely try I like this because it's moist and you know marshmallow how it's sticky on the inside it's like nice and so I have the bigger marshmallow but it's fine to work so I'm just gonna press it just put it in there it keep it helps it to keep the moisture I'm gonna put two in here close my can voila So that's it for today. My name is Titi Laya Delaya. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed how to make, how to store, and how to revive brown sugar once it's hardened. Um, and enjoy. I'm going to be using this in other later recipes. So I'll show you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. <laughs>